Have you recently been prescribed antibiotics for a urinary tract infection, UTI? How did they work for you? Did you find yourself back at the doctor's office after a week because the infection came back? If you've never experienced this, that's great. But many people have and it's becoming more common. So we should all pay attention to this video because today we're going to explore what antimicrobial resistance AMR is, how antibiotics work and how AMR can stop them from doing their job. Hi, I'm Dr. Sylvia. I'm so excited you're here. In this video, you'll get excellent health tips that will make a real difference. But that's not all. I also create personalized guides, tools, and plans tailored to your specific needs. These resources will help you reach your goals faster and more effectively. Don't miss out on your free copies. Check out the links in the description box below. So let's get started. I'll see you in the rest of the video. A urinary tract infection or UTI happens when harmful germs, commonly bacteria, get into the urinary system causing uncomfortable symptoms like frequent urination or pain when you're peeing. UTIs are more common in women because our urethra, which is the tube that carries urine from the bladder outside our body, is shorter than in men making it easier for germs to get into the bladder. Doctors often prescribe antibiotics to treat UTIs. Antibiotics are special medicines that kill germs known as bacteria or stop them from multiplying. However, antibiotics don't work on all germs. For example, they won't help if you've got a cold or the flu, which are caused by viruses, not bacteria. But what if the antibiotics don't work? This is where we start talking about a growing problem known as antimicrobial resistance or AMR. Antimicrobial resistance happens when germs like bacteria learn how to fight back against antibiotics. Imagine a scenario where the germs are putting on armor to protect themselves from the antibiotics. This makes the antibiotics less effective and it's more challenging for them to do their jobs. When this happens in our bodies, we call it a drug-resistant infection. In 2019, around 1.27 million people died directly as a result of infections that antibiotics could not treat. And globally, AMR contributed to nearly 5 million more deaths. If we don't address this, the future could be even more alarming. And I'm not just trying to scare you with these numbers. By 2050, scientists believe that drug-resistant infections might cause at least 10 million deaths every year, more than the number of deaths from cancer. This growing resistance is one reason why a UTI might come back even after you've had treatment with the course of antibiotics. You might stay sick for longer or need more rounds of medicine. In some cases, UTIs can happen again within a very short period. We call these recurrent urinary tract infections. If this happens to you, it's important not to use antibiotics from a leftover prescription. Why? Well, it's because the bacteria causing your current infection might have already developed resistance to the old medicine. The previous prescription might have expired or it's no longer effective and using it could even help the bacteria get stronger. Also, you probably won't have enough pills left to treat the new infection and taking just a few pills is not going to help. Before we continue, I want to introduce two organizations that are making a real difference in fighting antimicrobial resistance, the Fleming Initiative and CHAIN. The Fleming Initiative is a partnership between the Imperial College London and the Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust. It combines research, public engagement and policy to create practical solutions to this global public health issue. CHAIN, led by the Fleming Initiative, is a media network that brings together healthcare professionals, content creators, and entertainment experts. Their goal is to use the power of video to spread awareness and encourage behavioral change that can slow down the spread of drug-resistant bacteria. Now, let's talk about what you can do to help prevent drug-resistant infections. Number one, take your antibiotics exactly as prescribed. If you're given a course of antibiotics, 
finish all the pills even if you start feeling better before they're all gone if you stop too early it might allow some of the bacteria to survive and become stronger two don't save antibiotics for the future each infection is different and medicine from a previous illness might not work next time using leftover antibiotics can contribute to amr number three never ever share antibiotics with anyone else what works for you might not work for other people no matter how closely related you are and sharing medication can end up doing more harm than good if you experience recurrent utis always speak to a doctor or a pharmacist they'll make sure you get the right treatment to fully recover thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please share it with a friend so that we can all work together to help reduce the spread of antimicrobial resistance and remember to check out my playlist here where i share more tips for preventing utis and staying healthy